the Invercargill Invaders are back at home for the last time in quite some time. This is a huge match against another droid side, our second in a row, and after last week's performance, confidence, well, it's pretty low. The side you can see on screen there just, just as a bed, but we do have changes to the team um, which involve our two wingers switching sides. Alongside that, Watschek stays in midfield after a dominating display last round against the Cape Town Fair. Today, it is another droid side. It is the Bernie Spartans, and they are in the blue and white, and they are just like the Cape Town Fair last week. They are a team struggling. Now, we have just turned the ball over, and to rub salt to the wound of the last two weeks, we've nailed a drop goal. Inside 20 seconds, we're up 3-0. What? What just happened? Now we've knocked the ball on, and I'm, I'm, I'm perplexed. Since when did the Invaders do that? A quick turnover and popping over a drop goal. Welcome back to GRM, everyone. Global Rugby Manager is the name of the game, and the Invercargo Invaders are the team we are surveying, I guess one could say. Um, we've been going well this season. You've got to admit, we are only one loss so far this year, and that was by a solitary point as well. So, um, you know, thinking we could do things here. We've got a good turnover there. I think that was not releasing the breakdown. So we are all over these Spartans very early on. I've got all this all this dribble I want to get out to start the game where I'm missing a bit of the early action. Our line-out looks good, and I don't think these Spartans are really up to the task. I mean, even last week, the um, Cape Town Fair, that could hit the post. Cape Town Fair were pretty average, but um, they still put up a challenge. Now, these Spartans, I mean, that could have been gone all the way back for the scrum. But out to Clyde Edwards' wing, it's gone. And no, that is Lucas Zanghetti. Of course, Clyde Edwards should be on this near wing, though. He is still, he is now the number 11 winger, I should say. Martin Martin has left alone. Oh, that is a great run by the Spartans' fly half as he creeps up. A lot of yardage there. Oh, big shot there. And that was an absolute cruncher. Onto one of our forwards as well. Goodness me, a big shoulder drop, putting him in his place. Now the Spartans kick through Gray, and they're going to find the man of the team, Bartomoli Gossard. Runs it straight back in a safe carry, and Brock Bonicio, more and more kicking in the side as time goes on, which I am more than happy with as well. He is um, a great little kicker. It's great to have that versatility. They've stuffed up their line out, but it's gone backwards. Referees let the way of murder there as Merle, 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 Merle gets a bit of a run down this near touchline as they take a fair while to set themselves up. Well, great run there. Blind Van Merle hammered his man, but he got the offload away, and they got numbers. It's upon as well. Tatrice goes the only one there, and Allen will score. And what did I just talk about? How rubbish. These Spartans look and they've scored the opening try. We're all over them. Defensively, we're over them. On attack, we're over them. Beck has got the conversion. He is a fly half. And to be honest, he has looked fairly impressive. The kickoff is steep. And oh, another big crunch on Clyde Edwards. This one as well. Watch check. Oh no, the golden boy. Absolutely smashed as well. They look to use width on oh, there's Great passing through our back line and cutting us the ribbons. We're looking a bit too flat. It's Johnson gets up in the grill. And to the 10 meter line go the Spartans again. Short runner. We've got that one covered at least. And he's dragged backwards and he somehow offloaded the ball. But the referees deemed possibly a knock on there. Scrum. Yes. Yes. We force them up and we go away to Muhammad Martin. Who drills this one long. Oh, one bounce to the touch. The referee will take this back, though, for the penalty. And there it is. Martin with a second attempt. Not as good as the first. Just gets us over halfway. But uh, we will have possession of the ball. We are quickly in. 11 minutes into this game. And overthrown by Tetrescu. It is picked up by Muhammad Martin. And who's going to run this play? Uh, Mark Collis. Not really our first choice of first receivers. And into touch. Goes Clyde Edwards. Poi, we looked hot straight off the whistle, but we have been absolutely terrible since that drop goal. This time our defence holds a good line, and we shut that down easily. We do give away quite a few easy yards for the Spartans. Are they going to double their lead here? 
into a 14 points of three buffer. That could be a turnover, but no. Comes back to the blue and white of the Spartans who are going to kick to midfield. Interesting choice here as Gossard waits for it and Gossard gets those end on end punts away nicely. Drop goal, come on, do it. They pass, they look to open this up. That short passing game is very strong. And Prasad goes straight forward into our 22. Another tackler brushed aside like he's nothing. There's three points perfectly on offer here for them. If they play like the teams over the last few weeks been playing. No, they're just going to go for the try. Mark Collins is covering. What is going on? Paul Prasad has scored and it's 12-3. Spartans over the invaders. I can't believe it. The way these guys started, they looked like they weren't going to get a feather near us. Now they are leading by 11, and it's 14 points to three. Why do we go for a drop goal? Out wide, that time, Clyde Edwards, yes. Hitting his target, inside ball to Mark Collins. He was the last defender, now he's the leading attacker. Where's number nine? Where are you, Brock? Here you come. Short one, Sam Cooper offloads. Brock is there, look who else is there, Gossard. Right in the thick of the action as well. We've got to hit back, and we've got to hit back fast. That's a turnover. Oh, the requirements for victory are failing us massively at the moment. We've almost gone 15 minutes, um, and that one's not going to go out. So Phil Muhammad fires it in to Gossard, away to Evans, who's dropped it to no one. And Sam Cooper cleans up. Evans is there. Oh, that's the other change, actually. I forgot about Evans and uh, Pichella have swapped wings. Nicely done there from Phil Muhammad to save that ball from touch. I want to move forward, but the ball is just not finding a dead play. Here's Cooper. Gives them a bit of their own medicine. That's more like it. We've got to kick this away, surely. Tatricio goes to Wozczyk, and not known for his kicking, he's got a good little nudge away there. And it finds the opening try scorer, Allen, who kicks it back, and it's there for Gossard, who goes nowhere. One-on-one, -on -one, can't make the break. And we reset pretty much where we were. Zinkiri, where to Brock. Brock is a dangerous runner when he wants to have a little go. 15 minutes into the game, I can't believe how fast this is going. Are we going to play anything out here? No, no. What's check? You've got the ball back from your fly half. He's not kicked it. Why should you? Third choice kicker, Gage Carter, goes long and puts it into touch right. Now we go 16 minutes in. Deary me, it is 14-3. Invaders behind by a long way. Well, it's almost a repeat of last week, isn't it? These Spartans, although their line-out is terrible, they sneak forward to steal that ball back. Uh, Nigam is the one to do it. They scrum half. What I don't get is how the Stroid side are playing so well. And they're in for another chance to attack. Look at our players. There was Evans. They just went flying over top of the tackled player. 14-3, and we are under the pump again as they come out wide. Good spot tackle there. Number eight, Hassan, taken down in a hurry. Another good tackle. There's going to be a turnover chance. No. It's back there for the Spartans. And look at that number four. He was going straight through a hole there. As they hold it up and straight through. Vandermeer on reply is not quick enough to get up for that defensive movement. We've got a man way back. Oh, it's an offload. And he's gone through. It's another try to Allen. And we've still got this guy. The only player out of 30 that is outside the 22 is that player we had on defense. I, I can't believe what's happening here. 21-3, and to think we smashed them up at 3-0 inside 20 seconds. Wow, overconfidence is right happening here, folks. I tell you, 22 gone, it is 21-3, and there better be some highlights for the boys in black and yellow and red, or else this could be a long, long day at the office as Phil Muhammad saves the flushes once more of Bartomoli Gossard. Okay, so promising signs here for the invaders. We've got a scrum feed just outside the 22 for a knock-on. They go straight up as well, which gives us a great chance. And through goes Wozniak. Puts out the fend. I think we've lost their ball. Oh, straight away, one phase. Come on. And we're going for three. We're behind by 18. Why are we going for three? Not a bad one, I think. No, it's over. Well, Muhammad Martin puts us up. Woohoo! We got six points. Whoop the hell. 21 6. Now we trail by 15. Doesn't get much better for us, does it? We've got a scrum feed. The line out. Oh, the kickoff, I should say. Didn't go 10 meters. And I mean, Muhammad Martin has just run straight at that first defender. He's not. Wow! Wow! What check? What was that miracle ball? Got it out to um, Edwards, who's. Goodness me. I, I, I'm just moving forward.
Have a look at the clock, everyone. What does it say? That's right, 52 minutes. 52 damn minutes without a highlight to show you all. It's still 21-6. The Invaders are strong finishers though, and we've got this opportunity for the set piece there in the line out. Oh, that's a good opportunity as well. Near their 22, we've actually busted now through the all hands of Vandermarva. Waschek has been a little bit average, which is a bit of a shame um, for the youngster. But um, I mean, this, this is droid sides. These are guys we should be smashing pretty much all the time. Someone's injured, and I think it's a guy. But, oh, Phil Muhammad! Oh, put him in 14! He scored a great try! That is what we needed. 21-11, kick to come. Someone was injured, who cares? Because Phil Muhammad has swept away two or three defenders to score a great Invaders try. Ah, and Muhammad Martin's put it wide, so we still need two scoring plays. Uh, they have to be at least one converted to get back into this league. The ball's away to the hero. Phil Muhammad, 54 and a bit minutes gone. Can't believe how rubbish we're playing. The balls that was checking getting are terrible. I mean, if he doesn't have minus uh, running meters from today's game, I will be surprised. He's been getting hospital flat passes, whereas before he was getting decent little nudges. Now, they're completely out to see. We have turned over the line out, though. Tetrescu has stolen it at the front as the ball ping-ponged and, and pinballed is the word I was looking for around the set pieces. Carter Jones gets away to Waschek. Waschek's up behind him, and he struggles upfield. 10 meter line is past, that's a drop ball, and we've lost it again. What are we doing? I mean, we need to have an absolute storming 20 minutes or so to get back in this game. It's former fullback, Phil Muhammad, who's covering things at the back as Gossard is away gallivanting upfield. And we've got it back to Wozniak, and this is the area of concern, the kicking on the young kid. Not too bad, but um, we're not finding any huge momentum gathering from his boot. At the back there is Gossard, and I mean, do we, do we hope for a miracle? There we go, we've got it to the right man, and that's the difference of a good kicker there. Getting it away from the fullback, oh, a mistake would have been just perfect, but Allen has been amazing here today. There is all, Pashella, yes, put him in six, and he delivers like that. Get it out, Cooper, get it out, go, keep it alive. Give it to Gossard, we've got to give it to the key man. That is basketball to Gossard. He is tied up in the ruck. Let's go short. Yes, I like it. Tetrescu. Oh, Tetrescu. Dimitri's lost it. Ah, we were so close to something special. I thought if we could set that up, we could have been in the money there to set it up and go short or go quickly to Gossard to try and do something. But we've not managed that. Is this going to go out? It is. That's a good kick as well. Up to 10 meter line. Have to pull back. We're almost at the hour mark. 21-11. These damn droid sides, they are just killing us at the moment. And we've got no answer for them at all. 21-11, still, we're out of it. Now, this is what a dominant scrum can do for you guys. Look at the position we're in. And yes, every scrum, we have smashed them. We've injured their front rower, and we've hammered them as well. Going backwards, we made a mistake, and we have turned that into an advantage for the invaders, into a penalty. Five metres out from the line for line out. That is what we can do with a good scrum. And then we just overthrow it. Well, aren't we just... Damn, we've turned it over though. So I, I take it back. But I think that's Pashella. Pashella's done very well. Was check. A standing start. Leave the poor guy alone. Oh, Phil! Oh, Phil Muhammad! Oh, the hero! Come off the man, come off the hour! Phil Muhammad scores his double. And we are back in this game with 17 minutes still to go. I'll take it. If this kick goes over, we are cooking with gas. 18-21. That is what we like to do. Oh, boy. I wish we didn't finish like this. I wish we could clean these games up a lot earlier. I love being a strong finishing side, but, man, it's not good. It's not good for anything. The old heart in particular doesn't like it. We've got 16 to go. Um, if we can cook up a mistake here from these guys again... We could be on to something, but also, we could also concede. So, still, this game really lies in the balance. That is a good kick. Gossard is signing autographs with someone way out on the side of the field. And that's a great kick. Absolute stunner. And we are under pressure now of our line-out. We've got it back nicely. It goes to Mohamed Martin, who gets a nice little kick away. Finds touch. 21-18, and it's game on. We do not want to lose this one. At any cost. Bonus points may be a bit of a tricky one, though. 
as we have only scored a couple of tries. We've got to keep these guys in the backfield. We've got to make them into air, force them into errors and turnovers like that. Gossard, oh, he's electric. He wants something to happen. Still a long way to go. Oh, we'll see if it damage in these last three in a bit minutes. If not, we'll join you in the last ten to close this one out. Or do we stay with it right now? Because Mohamed Martin is cutting through. He's up to halfway. He's offloading as well to Louis Pistella, who has been sublime, I have to admit. Absolutely stunning. Was check. Less than desirable from him, but we'll see how he rates afterwards. We've lost the ball. There's my glimmer of hope gone. We have got a lot of field territory though, which is nice. So now we'll go on. See you in the last 10. Hopefully for another tight Invaders win. Oh, folks. Oh, my goodness, team. Calm yourself down. We've just knocked the ball on. Which I don't know we get excited about. Except when that happens, we have demolished this scrum. We were in a really good spot, though, for probably the last six minutes. Really, since I left you. But this is it. For the lead. Mohamed Martin. Come on, son. Have that pressure. Have that pressure. It's over. And it is still only 21 all. We, are, we haven't got the lead, but uh, we're back in the game. Right, now, we can't lose from this position. We are the best finishing side on GRM. And if he hasn't taken it into touch, I'll be... Oh, he has! Yes! We are the clinical finishers of Global Rugby Manager. You think you can take us out over 60? We'll just take you down in the last 20. This is our game. Here's Brocky. Oh, he's a danger. He's a little sniper, and he's lost the ball. God damn it. We've got only got five minutes to go. We might as well tune in, see if we can make them knock it on. Oh, that is a huge hit. Can we make them... I mean, if we could make them knock that on, it would have been absolutely perfect for another three points to take the lead. Here is Tetrescu. Nicely to the front, flat ball to Martin. Martin just runs. He just runs. He gets the back roll straight off the back of the line out. They run straight to Martin, and they take him on. That's good from Wozniak. Very good from Gage Carter. How wide! Bartomoli Gossard! One to beat Gossard! Oh, no! Damn. That was the chance, I tell you. That was the chance. They've got a penalty. And they'll find touch with it as well. Not far from where they got the penalty. But just a few minutes to go. They do have the line out, which we have taken back. And it's a floater. It's a dangerous floater. We've gone for a bit of territory. It might go too far. Oh, no. Oh, that is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Here's the line out. Oh, they've won it. Make a mistake, you idiots. No, they've kicked it straight down the middle of the park. Get it, Gossard. Run it back, Bartomoli. Find your support. Good work. Excellent work, Bartomoli, Gossard. He's got us right back in this play. A little grubber. Uh-oh. He's offside, isn't he? Surely he's offside. No, he's not. Oh, man. Two minutes to go. A line out to Shambles. Someone's... Surely that's knocked on. Surely that's knocked on. It was propelled forward off his body in some point. Oh, I don't like it when you don't have the ball. Don't commit to the breakdowns unless it's quick and early. Put him in touch. Put him in touch. We could have done something better with that. We really could have. We've got it back just outside the 22. They've thumped it away. Get their Gossard. Get their Gossard. Don't let it bounce. Phil. He's got Gossard with him. He uses him as well. Oh, what a great offload as well. This is magic from the invaders. No, out, outnumbered. Outnumbered defensively. Get in there. Yes. Oh, that was a bad time to lose the ball. Phil involved. Great pass. This is great. Pass him on to Gossard. In the backfield he goes. He's got one to beat. Takes him on and knocks it on. That's all right, though. That's all right. Because we could make a mistake. Make the mistake. Go for the scrum. Force him into the scrum. No, don't let the play advantage. Don't let the play advantage out. Oh, he's lost it. Go back, go back for the scrum. Oh, they are. Destroy it. Oh, the one time we need you to destroy it. You've not done it. Oh, Gossard, the one time you're going to catch the ball, man. You've not done it. And we're going backwards. We have lost this game. Something terrible. That, that's a turnover. Oh, it's still alive. It's still alive. Goodness me, I can't believe this. Setting it up for a terrible pass. Oh my goodness, oh we could lose it. Oh, unbelievable. Now they're in the box seat, they're shrugging tacklers away. Get out of here. 
What is going on? Time is up. Do they want to draw? We're going to draw with the damn droid side. This is ridiculous. What is wrong with us? We were beating all the good teams. Oh, that'll be it. That is it. If Gossard could have picked that up, we could have run away. Louis Pichel has picked up man the match. But it doesn't matter because they've drawn with the damn droid side. How the hell has that happened? We kicked so many penalties. What are we doing? Oh my goodness me, that, that is... That is just terrible. We should have won that game a hundred times over. They had a little passage, 20 minutes between the... You know, one minute and 25 minutes that they dominated. And they scored three tries. Since that, we dominated them. But we didn't put three tries on the board. We were woefully bad terribly bad we don't deserve that draw a draw is like a kick in the nuts it's terrible i don't want it no one wants it a loss is something you, you can work off a draw is just like crap what do we do now no one celebrates it's just like shit that sucks 21 all we didn't even score four damn tries we don't get a bonus point we get nothing we drop down the damn leaderboard is what we do this again for the third time in three weeks, it's got to be said, I say, this is why we don't make the playoffs. We challenge the good teams. It's like we need a different play style for a droid side than we do against a, a actually controlled side. Because these droid side play a game of rugby that we cannot beat. I don't know what it is. They only play for 10 minutes, yet we can't put them away. I'm, I'm going to rant about this forever. But uh, let's go through the stats. Goodness, 21 all. Possession was even. We did them on territory. We actually made more tackles. We missed the same amount of tackles. We scored less tries. Handing errors was close. If we could have won a scrum at that last pivotal moment and destroyed them like we did all game long, we could have won them with a penalty and I would have been satisfied. But instead, I'm going to spend the next week pissed off about how crap we played. That annoys me. If we kicked our conversions, one out of two. We kicked that, we would have won. But no, we are useless. What the hell do we do? Let's Carter Jones come back. I don't know. What else is going on here? Turnovers won, we smashed them. Uh, line out stolen. We stole three. We killed them everywhere. Everywhere on the field. Louis Pichella, man of the match. One assist. Ten tackles and four turnovers. Doesn't matter, does it? How do we rate? Well, I mean, I look through there and goodness me, there's one really disappointing one. I mean, we've got to make a change, don't we? We really do. Vandem over to Trescu Collis again. Very good mid to low 20s. I'll take that all right. I mean, we did demolish their scrum despite them playing averagely. Uh, Zeke Getty played very well. 41. Richards had a quiet night with a 17. Ah, uh, look at that though. Louis Pichella, 64 in the number 6 jersey. That's him at home. Just 25 from Josh Evans, but I think he's a guy that will always perform uh, pretty well, no matter what number jumper. 57 for Sammy Cooper, 38 for Brock. Only a 29 for Muhammad Martin. Definitely one of his worst games in an Invaders jersey. Clyde Edwards didn't change much for him being on the left wing to the right. Muhammad Mars, or Phil Muhammad, I should say, on the other wing, did play very well. Two tries from nothing opportunities to put them away. Gossard was rubbish. Carter, uh, Gage Carter was rubbish. Wozniak was just dirt. 14.2. Not good enough at any level, my friend. That is serious jeopardy that you are now under. Conceded three penalties. Um, handling errors. Didn't make any, but I'm surprised because so many of his passes, he just got smacked with ball and defender. And I kind of blame that a bit on what delivery he got from Martin and from Bondesio. Really poor in this match. He missed three tackles as well. And for one of the best defenders in the side, that is a concern. Muhammad Martin can get away with that because he's a terrible defender. But this kid, no, not good enough. Um, even uh, Clyde Edwards, he's, he's a bit of a, a, a crappy one as well. But Gossard, great! I mean, what went wrong here for us? He only made four attempts. Goodness me, that is really poor. Um, that, well, that killed us. No playmaking. And do we put the more consistent Carter Jones back in at 12? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But that is us for this game. Let's check out the table of that pathetic draw and see now if we ever manage to stay in the top 10. Okay, so I just want to point out there that we have just beaten the Cape Town Fair by three points, who are 32nd, and drawn with the Brony Spartans, who are 24th. 
And I'm pretty sure they were worse than that before today's matchup. They've won a game against the Wasps, I guess, and they drew. They drew against us. That is, that is gut-wrenching. It really, really is gut-wrenching. Like, I'm fine if the Tokyo Strike come to our den and thump us because that is a team that should challenge us. That is a team that we should be aspiring to be. These guys down here have just been killed every single game. These guys here have been destroyed. Yeah, we gave them two bonus points. And to be fair, at the end of the season when they got four points, it's probably going to be two bonus points each game against us. We need to rethink our droid strategy. We've got to look at how a droid side plays and take them out that way because I think what strategy we have against human control teams works. I think we play really well against other human controlled sides. Against droid sides, we're rubbish. We are rubbish. And the last two weeks have proven that 100%. We struggled to beat the Fear, who are uh, just complete crap. And um, the Spartans, who were a little bit better, um, but we drew with them. Not good enough. And Wozniak playing like mud, like he did, killed our playmaking ability, and that killed our try scoring ability, which was pretty much nothing. Now, I haven't even checked my mail this week, because, you know, this sort of week is absolutely chaos. If you look at the date of upload, you'll know what the hell's going on. But, there was an injury, I think, to one of our players right at the end when we were almost scoring that um, potential match-winning try. I mean, where was the drop goal? I didn't even think of that. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. It's hard to think. Not long ago, you know, we were challenging these top sides. Now we're sitting here getting angry because we can't beat the Bernie Spartans. How many turned up? Oh, that's a good crowd. 11,925 will give us a bit of coin in the bank, but um, we go on a run now, guys. Away. Away, 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 away. Yay, round 12, we're back at home. This is only round six. Got five games on the road. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Anyway, um, what are we gonna look at first things first? Uh, training's happened, it's all happened. Not sure, what do we got next week actually? Let's have a look at current round. We are away to the Durban Dolphins. Uh, hopefully it's not another droid side, that is just... No, they're actually managed. Centro, I've seen a bit of posting on his side. This must be his second team, uh, the Durban Dolphins. Uh, one win, five losses. I mean, it's a managed side, so we'll probably go quite well against those guys. Um, but questions must be asked about this team. Uh, oh, yeah, so there we Oh, shit, that's not good. That is really bad. I didn't even... Oh, no. I didn't even check this. I really... I, I was going to check the mail first. I thought, oh, it would be all right. Um, but no, I just want to look at was check. I mean, he's... He's had, a, he's had a shocker. I know he's got to go back to the drawing board because this kid here, well, this man, he's a bit older, is consistent. I mean, you look at this. Consistently, he sits around all seasons of 45. Um, current season, 37.4. So, averagely doing a lot better um, than we just look at was check there. Uh, 45. That must be his best of season. Surely. Either that was an average. Well, maybe I'm wrong on that one. Um, here we go. Who knows? What is his performance rating? 61. That's his best record. So it must be averages. So, yes, it will be because Wozniak played a, a blinder, didn't he, in the first round he played and then went to crap the next one. So he's still averaging really well, but a poor performance. Do you reckon we give him another shot or do we move on? I'll think about it over the next three days in one hour. I'm not convinced. I want to put him in there. But I just think that Carter Jones is a bit more consistency that we need in the number 12 jumper. I'll think about that because we were poor in key areas. Martin played like crap. Gossard played like crap. And our playmaker, secondary, was check played like crap. So areas we've got to look at and we've got to improve on. He is training kicking like an absolute monster. Up to 78, which really um, is only 10 now away from Carter Jones. It was about 20 to start with so he's killing it on the training front let's look at the mail though because we'll look at the mail and we'll wrap it up because this has been a disappointing episode that i don't really want to look at too much uh, a lot of training has very quickly oh we've sold someone that's good news that's really good news who's gone i'm not sure hopefully not scrum half that would be bad brocky um what's up with brocky he's out for three weeks we know that that's a real shame i mean he's a key man and now one of these young guns have to come in, surely. Maximum training reaches, I'll sort those guys out. 
Say all the player. Oh, Charles McDonald. He's a he's a scrum half. Um, that's all right. We've still got four others, but um, Giles is gone. We'll have a look at how much four and just a ticky to see who's reached their training capacity. Josh Evans in physical. Uh, left back Collett in physical. Silver in physical. Since Silver, that'll be his, his stamina and being Boyle in stamina as well. So a lot of physical being capped out. Let's have a quick look at our finances. See what the player sale of Giles McDonald, who we picked up the season as well for about a hundred bucks, um, has come in it, and um, then we will depart until next week, hopefully. Um, player sale, player transfer, 10k. You know, I'll take that. I'll, I will take that. A lot of training going on here. We've got a lot of guys on um, focus training as well because, you know, I, I, I really don't know why. I'm just trying to get them up as fast as I can. Um, but these guys are young and these guys are key. Grot, what's check I really want to put in the sides? That's why he's getting it. Martin, I'm sick of him missing goal kicks. Um, and again, we would have won that game if we got us two kicks. So, alas, we move on. But that is it for today. Um, a disappointing loss. Well, not a loss. A disappointing draw. Disappointing result, I guess you could say, against um, the Bernie Spartans. I knew it after last week. I had very low confidence that we were going to get the job done here against the Spartans. And, well, we didn't. It's a shame. But um, nevertheless, we push on and we are out of the yellow numbers, which really does, really disappoints me because we went in there at sixth against two of the worst teams in the competition outside the top 20. We should be going bang, bang, 10 points. Thank you very much. See you next week. We've gone whimper and struggle to find ourselves, what, with, what do you get for a draw? Two points? You know, we come away with seven. I mean, it's not too bad of a possible 10, but... um. It's still pretty disappointing. I'll stop now before I go on forever. But thank you all for tuning in and watching. Hope you all enjoyed the game. Let me know what you think about droid tactics. Do you have a different tactic for playing droid games um, with your side? Do let me know in the comments below. And um, other than that, as always, thank you to the guys at GRM for supporting the videos on the channel. Um, I do appreciate it very much. If you do want to get involved, globalrecordmanager.com. Download the client. Make up your team. And you can too. Can play along. And um, try and nut out what is wrong with the invaders. Because um, I'm not quite sure what's happening at the moment. But we will be back next week for our match against, who was it against, I've forgotten, the Durban Dolphins. Until then though, thanks for watching. Have a great holidays and a new year. And we'll see you, I think, one more match this year. I think, what's today? Seven days? It should be about the 30th or so. We'll try to get that around um, before the year comes to a close. Until then, though, thanks for tuning in and watching. Leave your thoughts and tactical ideas in the comments below. I need them. Help me. Until then, though, take care.